Hello and thank you for joining me today for a few thoughts from the Bible. My name is Becky and I'm a missionary living here in Uganda with Mission Aviation Fellowship and I'm getting ready to move across Africa to Liberia later this year. Now one thing I'm always keen to be in these videos is just completely honest with you. You know, I think when you only see a snapshot of somebody's life and it's primarily in encouraging messages from the Bible, it's really easy to think that they have it all together, all of the time. Well, not too long ago, I had a really tough few days and I found myself feeling quite far away from God. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, if you've ever had a day where you've just felt, where is God in my life right now? You know, you can know 100% in your head that he's there. You can quote all of those Bible verses that tell you that he is with you, that he will never leave you. And yet somehow you just don't feel it inside. In the holiday week that my husband Dave and I had just this last week, we, uh, we spent a few days to start sorting through some of the things in our house and to start packing up a few boxes to send on ahead of us to Liberia. So we'll have a, a few things there when we get there later in the year. And I think as we were doing that organizing and packing process, it suddenly hit me like a ton of bricks. We're actually doing this, aren't we? We are actually moving to Liberia. We are crossing a continent in the middle of a pandemic. This is pretty big. And there are going to be lots of challenges in the months ahead as we get ready to leave and then actually move. Just for a moment there, I found myself feeling completely alone and utterly overwhelmed and asking, why have you told us to do this, God? Where are you in this process? But God is always, always speaking to us, isn't he? And he will use any opportunity to teach us, to let us know more about his character and his nature, to draw us closer to him. And I found myself reading a verse in Deuteronomy chapter 2 and verse 7, which says this, for the Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched your every step through this great wilderness. During these 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have lacked nothing. Now, if you don't know this story about the Israelites, they basically had walked up to the border of their promised land, this good land that God had told them was going to be theirs. And they had said, nope, this looks way too hard, God. You should just have left us in slavery in Egypt because that would be better than trying to do this thing that you are telling us to do right here. As a result, the Israelites ended up spending 40 years wandering in the wilderness. But I think that's what makes this verse really amazing, really astonishing. The reason that they were wandering in the wilderness was their own fault. It was because of their actions. They had made God angry. They had doubted that he could do what he said he would do. They had turned around and said, we don't want your best for us. That's just too hard, God. And yet, through every single step of that time of doubting, of walking away from God's plan for their life, God lovingly watched over them and blessed them in everything they did. They were never alone. They never lacked. How can we ever, ever doubt that God would do exactly the same for us? Leading us, guiding us, providing for us, being with us, watching over our every single step. You know, wilderness situations are a 
pretty p common part of life and I think at some point we all find ourselves in one. Times of trial, times where we do have that feeling of where on earth is God in this situation? Why is this so hard? Why do I feel so alone right now? It's so important to remember that even when we face those situations, even when we feel those things, God is still with us. Whether we've turned away from where we should be like the Israelites did, or if we're just finding life a little bit tough right now, finding the situations that we're in a little bit hard, whatever that whatever place it is that's caused that wilderness, it does not mean that God doesn't care. He is watching your every step. He is walking beside you. He is meeting your needs, even if you're not aware of it. I know it because the Bible says so. In Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, it says, my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. The same God who watched over the Israelites as they wandered is the same God who will meet your needs today. If you're feeling alone, if you're feeling abandoned, if you're feeling that it's just all too much right now and you don't know how to cope, then remember that promise. You are not alone. You will never be alone. You may not see it. You may not feel it. But God is with you right now and he is not going anywhere. Thank you so much for joining me for this thought from the Bible today. I'll be back on Monday with another video. So I will see you then.